Happy Sunday, YouTube. So I'm sure you guys have all heard the phrase, fake it till you make it. And it's very common to hear that, especially in my industry, fake it till you make it. But let me tell you what, don't fake it because you won't make it. And that's a fact. Paying your bills is brutal. Keeping up on top of this business is brutal and you can't fake it. And you know, I learned that lesson a long time ago, back in 2008, in the real estate crisis. You see, I started my career in 2004 as an insurance agent, and I did so good those first years when I started that I just got involved in investing heavily when I started making money. That's what I did. And I got big time involved in real estate, real estate development. And in California, you know, I realized that there was this one town in California that was the poorest town in California of San Joaquin, California. And there was a lot of grant money. There was a lot of money from the government to help build farm housing, low income housing. There was a lot of money for that. And I remember at the time I took my money, I joined a real estate syndication group and we started developing 46 townhomes in late 2008, literally. Well, by the time we were getting close to finalizing that project, it was 2009. For all of you guys that remember, the market was going south. Foreclosures were everywhere. And it was cheaper to buy a foreclosure than to build a house kind of situation. So we found ourselves in a pickle because we couldn't sell our project because of the foreclosure rates were so high. And it was hard to sell our, our townhomes for the price we were selling them when you had single family houses with garages in foreclosure selling for half the cost. We were in a pickle, as I would say. And the reason that was is because most of the money that we borrowed, and I was the big borrower, came from hard money lenders, big time, big hard money lender groups that would charge low interest, but eventually needed their payment fully enforced by the end of that. And I found myself in 2009, 2010 in that situation. So that's why when I hear fake it till you make it, I recommend don't fake it because if you don't make it, you're gonna be in some trouble. And for us, thank God, what saved us was insurance residuals. When my investors saw that, you know, hey, you know what? The economy is going south, but you have residual income every month. Yes, I do. How much residual is that? And at the point in time, it was over $50,000 in residual. What they did was that they were more motivated to work with me in my payment arrangements every month. And at the time, my interest payments on that project were about $24,000. They went ahead and slashed them in half and they helped me weather the storm back then. But I'll tell you what, if it wouldn't have been for residual income, that would not have been the case. It definitely wouldn't have. But because I have a solid residual income back then, my investors that were made up of teachers, engineers, you name it, they were very considerate and they work with me. So you can't fake it to make it. And I share this with you guys because I don't see a lot of agents, agencies, really talking about insurance residuals. I don't see it. 
I feel I'm the only one that's out there posting my residual checks, talking about this, talking about strategies to keep your clients on the books, keeping them happy, keeping them paying. Because if they're paying, it means you're getting paid. Simple as that, it's that simple math. It's not just about that first year compensation. I remember a lot of people that were in my situation that were in real estate and were in that bracket. I know for a fact they never made it because they didn't have something consistent. Insurance, insurance sales, it's long-term thinking. It's not just, I'm gonna sell you today and make all my money today. No, I'm gonna sell it today, I'll make a little bit of money today, but you're gonna pay me every single month for the life of that policy. And that's the beauty of insurance, residual income. So when I hear the whole concept again of fake it till you make it, don't buy into that. Don't buy into it. Go out and make it. Write the insurance. Build your team. Go out and write your insurance personally as much as you can. Make sure that you got renewals. And that way, you're going to make it. Just like I made it. Years ago, when I was going through a crisis, those residuals stepped in and saved me. If I wouldn't have had those residuals, I wouldn't have made it. That project would have gone south. But because I did, the project was saved. Obviously, the, cha the, the terms changed, but it didn't change one fact, that the investors love residual income. So once again, don't fake it till you make it. Make it. You got to make it. And the only way you do is by going down and putting in the work, helping as many families as possible, and make sure they stay on the books. That's where you make it. If you're writing business every day and they're staying on the books and a high percentage of them are staying on the books, five years down the road, 10 years down the road, your future self is gonna thank you. So with that said, you guys enjoy your Sunday. And if you're not happy where you're at, you don't have renewals, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to show you our journey. Peace.